Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. We are ready to make a knife from our ball bearing matrix pattern welded steel billet. If you remember in the last episode where we worked on this, uh, we sandwiched a piece of 50 to 100 steel between some ball bearings evenly spaced on each side and then some powder, or excuse me, powdered steel to fill in the gaps there with some nickel content in that so we've got this neat pattern going here. Somebody pointed out there might be a potential issue with this and that being uh, the ball bearings might be so thin that we'll just grind them off before we get the knife finished and lose our pattern. I hope that's not the case. I don't know if it's going to be. I didn't think it would be at first, but they are pretty thin. But we'll see what happens. Before we do anything else though, we need to normalize this before we take any more steel off and get this ready to uh, grind into a blade and then heat treat. So let's get this in the kiln. All right guys, there it is, normalized, thermocycled a couple more times. Our steel is now in a good condition to, to heat treat it. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and grind out a nice profile little blade here. Okay, we've got our neat little blade profile going on there. I got a rough grind on it, and I, I did check in the ferric chloride to make sure that my uh, 52100 steel is uh, down the center, so we're good to go on that. And I like to do a rough grind or you know forge in the bevels before heat treat. So that's what I did here, and now let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing quenched. All right, y'all, I think I'm supposed to say that since we're, you know, here. Um, got this hand sanded, it's looking nice, and it is time to put it in the edge. All right guys, there it is. It's all etched and ready to put a handle on it. It's got a, I put a nice deep etch on it so you can actually feel the three dimensional uh, properties of this pattern. So that's pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's deep, so really neat. Okay, so we've got our cool blade here. I've got some brass. I'm gonna make a, a small guard. And then for the handle, some Indian ebony. I think that's gonna be really cool and will go well with this, uh, this pattern that we have here.
Well, all right, we got a handle on it. I really like this ebony, it's a neat wood. It's dark with some cool, some just some nice grain in there. And a very comfortable handle, It'll be a great little skinner or something for somebody. I'm gonna get an edge on this and I'll show it to you up close. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching and we will see you on the next video.